So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Alright, so for today's build we're going to be using my Arc Warlock build with Sanguine Alchemy. Now this build is absolutely insane, it is actually in my opinion the best build for Warlock this season. The Auto Rifle is here for stunning barrier champions, Cold Heart is here because of its heavy damage and heavy build synergy along with stunning overload champions and the swarm is also here for that heavy damage and heavy build synergy. Now there is so much going on with this build so guys I highly recommend checking out the full video before continuing with this guide. I mean we're talking about 25% damage resistance infinitely, 17% damage boost infinitely, infinite turrets, infinite healing rips, definitely going to want to check that out. But with that being said, let's hop right into the guide. Alright, so hopping in, there's going to be just three adds. One of them's a Servitor, and then there's going to be two Shanks. We're just going to absolutely melt them with our machine gun. Really easy stuff, guys. And then this next door is going to open after a small delay. Now, you see there's a bunch of dregs in front of us. What I like to do is run up and pop my Rift, but we're just going to melt these guys left side first so we're not absolutely surrounded. Throw our little nade there just to clear out some adds, and then we can pop that Rift down. Now, we are getting that 17% damage bonus from the build. And additionally, we, right now we have 25% damage resist, quite crazy. Now there is a Servitor, and I like to handle it from right side. Do some damage with our machine gun from up top, then we're going to stun them with the auto rifle. Throw the nade to take care of the shanks in the background. Now, if you are, guys aren't able to, you know, do enough damage to the barrier, you're going to want to clear out those shanks. That way you're not dealing with a bunch of adds and a Servitor. Next thing that's going to happen is you're going to move forward, and sometimes this Overload Captain will jump from above. That's what he's supposed to do. Sometimes he'll spawn behind you, so just be careful. If you're not seeing the Overload Champion, then he is behind you. So we're just going to start using our Trace Rifle. That's going to stun the Overload Champion, and additionally, you see everything is blinded because this build is absolutely amazing. After we take care of them, we're just going to proceed forward. Now this next section is, in my opinion, the most difficult part of the Lost Sector, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, you know, this is actually a very, very easy Lost Sector, to be honest, but this is the most difficult part, in my opinion. You see the Exploder Shanks are coming from the right side. They're not going to stop, as you can see. I did get surprised a little bit there. Seems like there's three of them. Now, what we're going to have in this next room, what makes it so difficult, is the fact that there is that Overload Champion, as you can see, and there's a barrier that comes right behind him. Now, if you don't absolutely melt this Overload, then he will become immune. You see the barrier is moving forward, creeping his way forward, and we are actually able to take care of the Overload without the barrier making him immune. That is great. Now, if you don't melt him that quickly, this becomes much more difficult than it needs to be. Might be worth a restart, kind of depends on what your preference is, because you're just going to have to deal with two champions at once. You're going to have to kill the Servitor first, obviously. Now, keep it, like, pay attention to my position here. There is a sniper on this, uh, on this left side little thing he's on top. If you are out in the open, like I currently am standing right now, then you will get sniped, but I'm being mindful of my position. I'm not staying within his radius. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm using my Chaos Reach on the barrier because he is super annoying, making everything immune. Gonna want to melt him as fast as possible as well, or he's gonna make all the adds immune. They're shooting at you. They're immune. You, you know, it's just really annoying dealing with all that at once. So I do like to pop my super on him. Now, I'm just gonna throw my Rift in the middle of everything because obviously it's giving me that healing, giving me that damage resist because I'm amplified. It's just doing so much for me, giving me the damage boost as well. Uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of ad clear at this point. Gonna deal with the Servitor. And you don't need to kill the snipers for the next door to open, actually. But I like to take care of them in case I need to run back in the room. And then after this, it's just the boss, guys. Now, to take care of the boss, it's gonna be the same thing. We're just gonna pop our Rift down. Actually, it seems like the snipers do jump down. At least one of them does. So take care of them. And now we'll proceed forward. Because you don't want things shooting you in the back when you're trying to deal with these bosses. Now, I say these bosses. It's actually just two Servitors. And then there's a big Servitor. The big Servitor is the actual boss. These guys are just regular Servitors. But it does seem that they make things immune. I don't know if they make the boss immune. I don't think they do. But... They were annoying, we're just shooting at us, so we're going to deal with them. Now, these guys do some void damage, so you're going to want those void resist mods. But, guys, this is just so damn easy. I mean, we're not even in optimal machine gun range. We are literally across the map, absolutely melting everything. Now, what I assume I'm going to do here is just move forward to this right side. I do like this position, because that gives you, you know, better range on your machine gun. And then we're going to pop the rift up here, if we can. Let's see. 
Looks like I'm looking for an opening. There's the rift. And now we're going to do some machine gun damage until our super is charged. Actually, as you can see, this boss has literally no health. We are just melting him just with the machine gun. We didn't even have a full clip, and he's already 30% HP. Just going to use the chaos reach to clean up. And that's the lost sector, guys. It's so easy today. This is an excellent farm. Hop on this as soon as you can. Do not miss out. You only got 24 hours for this one. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.